Before I start today's video, I want to talk to you guys about my most recent visit to Alton Towers, which was in November 2019. You know what? I'll just see myself out. Bye bye. Well, hello there. You're watching the official Theme Park Fans YouTube channel, and welcome back to another video. So, I hope you like that um, little intro I did there. Um, you know, I wanted to, um, you know, do something a little bit different again. So, I hope you liked that um, little sketch I did there. Like, I, I know it's probably not going to be a funny one, but you know, I thought I'd um, do a funny sketch for you guys anyway, even though you may not find it funny, but oh well. So, anyway, as I can see about the video title, I'm going to be telling you guys if I could go back in time to ride one ride on its opening day, what would it be? So, there are so many rides to choose from, so many rides that I, you know, didn't attend its opening day, and, um, you know, there's quite a few, isn't there? There's quite a few. So, first of all, let's think of recent times. So, um, there was the Smilers opening day, which I didn't go to. However, I did ride the Smiler two days later, um, after its opening day, which was on the 2nd of June, which was a Sunday, and um, the Smiler opened on Friday the 31st of May 2013. So, you know, um, I was originally going to be going to Alton Towers for the Smiler's opening day, you know, even though Alton Towers didn't announce it. Um, but um, we didn't go for the Smiler's opening day because um, it was on a Friday and... Um, and um, my dad had to be in work, so that was a bit of a shame. But, um, you know, I got to find the Smiler um, two days later, so that wasn't all too bad. Wicker Man. Now, I am really bitter about not being at the opening day for Wicker Man. Because um, the Wicker Man... <laughs> it's a funny one when I think about it, guys. The Wicker Man, it was due to open on... Um, what weekend was that June 7th and on? Let me think, wasn't it? Hmm. Let me check the calendar, guys. So, Wicker Man was um, due to open on Saturday the 17th of March 2018, and I was really excited for it. In the lead up to the um, opening day of the 2018 season, I was doing a lot of running training, you know, to build up my um, stamina for the run to Wicker Man, you know, and in the hope that I'd be on one of the first um, public trains. And, you know, I was ready, I was ready, you know. The week leading up to Wicker Man's opening day, I was like, I'm really excited. I'm going to be running um, running down Tower Street uh, to Wicker Man once I've got through the turnstiles. And I'm, I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this. But what did Mother Nature decide to do? Mother Nature decided that it was going to be cold temperatures and lots of snow. So um, that meant Alton Towers had to post postpone the... Um, opening day of Wicker Man and I was absolutely gutted and if you guys remember I didn't go to the um, opening day of the 2018 season at Alter Towers because you know I think there was only Muted Bay open, Cloud Cookie Land and Sea Beavers Land so it just wasn't worth going to really and I was absolutely gutted because all that training you know to build up my stamina for the run to Wicker Man it went down the drain like that and what happened the next weekend, Wicker Man opened, but I couldn't be there because I was on a trip um, in London to see my cousin Ben. Um, because if you guys remember, I did a um, London Merlin Attractions vlog um, and a Fort Park one at the same time. And um, if, if you guys remember, my cousin Ben was there. But yeah, I was on a trip in London to see my cousin. And it opened and I was just like, mm, really? Really? So yeah, I was absolutely gutted that I couldn't be there for the um, opening day of Wicker Man. Thanks Mother Nature. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Don't do it again for SW9. <laughs> uh, but no, it was great to um, finally get on Wicker Man around a week later, I think it was. Yeah, it was around a week later I got on Wicker Man and um, my first ever round on it was on the back row, so there we go. I can't complain about that. Now, Let's go further to the past. We're gonna go. We're gonna truly go back in time here, folks. And I've got two rides in mind here. I've got Oblivion, and I've got Nemesis. 
So Nemesis opened in 1994 and Oblivion opened in 1998 and obviously I wasn't born then so you know I couldn't experience them. Now there is a reason why I say um, Oblivion. Now the reason why I say Oblivion is because of the um, Alton Towers Magic Factory documentary and um, it, it's a great documentary. If you haven't seen it yet what I will do is um, I will leave the link for it in the top right hand corner of the video. So on the count of three, one, two, three. There we go. Go and watch it guys. It's an absolutely fantastic documentary about all the towers and um, the documentary, The Magic Factory, it's um, it's mostly uh, in the 1997 season which was the um, uh, the season before Oblivion opened at all the towers and it was just like basically the build up to Oblivion's opening day in 1998 and um, it, it's such a fantastic documentary guys so I highly recommend that you go and watch it um, and it's really cool because you get to see um, the Oblivion construction site um, and of course this was when Oblivion was known as SW4 so yeah it's a fantastic documentary I highly recommend that you guys go watch it you know after this video of course and um, yeah, it, it's just a great documentary, and it's really interesting to see what um, Alton Towers looks like in the um, late 1990s. You know, it like when the documentary was filmed, it was two years before I was born, so you know, it was really interesting. And um, what else was really interesting about that documentary was that um, how um, differently the staff were dressed at Alton Towers. Because if you don't know, well, I, I'm sure you guys know. Um, when you visit all the towers, you know, and you see the admission staff, the, um, you know, um, some of the ride host staff and the ride operator staff, you know, they have like a, um, they have the red all the towers fleece jacket and a red polo shirt and sometimes a big red all the towers winter coat. But back then in the late um, 1990s, um, they wore like, they they almost practically wore suits. Well, they weren't suits, but like they were really smart red um, jackets, um, a tie, um, a white uh, collared shirt. I think so. Yeah, it's so it's really cool to see how the staff the staff appearance has changed at all the towers from 1997 to like the current day and um, today, where you know it's just a red fleece jacket, a red polo shirt, and yeah, it's just really interesting. So, Nemesis, the next one. And the reason why I say Nemesis is because, you know, it's a well-loved classic, isn't it? Nemesis is a well-loved classic. You know, it was designed by John Wardley and um, it would have been epic to have been there for the opening day of Nemesis in 1994. You know, this was, we're, we're talking about five years before I was born here, guys. And, you know, um... It would have been magical to have been there for the opening day of Nemesis, you know. And um, I think John Wardley was there for the opening day of Nemesis as well. Because um, in one of his... Um, it wasn't an interview. It wasn't an interview. It was like... Um, it was... I think it was at a, um, at a theme park enthusiast event at, um, at uh, Molten Towers. And he, and he was talking to his audience about how on the opening day of Nemesis, people were running... From Tower Street, you know, after they've been through the turnstiles, of course. They were running from Tower Street all the way through to Forbidden Valley just to get to Nemesis. So it would have been, <laughs> it would have been amazing to be, to be part of that Nemesis stampede. But, you know, it would have been really tiring as well, you know. Because not only do you have to run through Tower Street, but you would have had to run through um, what was um, Merry England. Because um, it wasn't Mutiny Bay back then, it was known as Merry England. Running through Katanga Canyon, running through Gloomy, um, through Gloomy Wood, and um, finally being in Forbidden Valley, you know, it would have been a very time and run, but it would have been amazing to have been part of that Nemesis stampede on its opening day. Charge! <laughs> um, so anyway, my answer to this: What would be my one one ride that I wish I could have been there for its opening day if I had the opportunity to go back in time? It's not going to be the Smiler. It's not going to be Wicker Man. Even though I am bitter about um, the weather playing up on its original opening day. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. Um, so now, I'm going to be narrowing it, narrowing it down to Oblivion or Nemesis. This is tough. 
this is this is actually really tough, guys. Um, but I, I'll try and make sure that I don't drag uh, drag the video on for too long. See, being there for Oblivion's opening day would have been something special as well because um, I forgot to mention Oblivion when it opened. It was the world's first um, B and M dive coaster, so that would have been really special to have been there. And also, I might, um, of course, if I could go back in time and do it, I might. Um, pop up on the documentary <laughs> that the uh, BBC did um, so that would have been interesting and also it would have been interesting to have been there during the 1997 season when it was being built so there is that but then there's Nemesis and being there for the opening day of Nemesis would have been something magical something unique and also the fact that it was Europe's first B&M invert coaster to open this is tough. Oblivion or Nemesis? This is really tough. I think, guys, I'm going to go with... Do I go with Oblivion? Do I go with Nemesis? Do I go with Oblivion? But I think I'll go for... Nemesis! Yes, guys, that's right. I would go... If I could go back in time and, and um, have the ability to ride... A ride on its opening day, it would be Nemesis, and you know what? I'm wearing the shirt for it anyway, so I kind of gave it away. <laughs> um, so yeah. So guys, um, if you had the opportunity to go back in time and ride a ride on its opening day, which ride would you choose? So would it be Nemesis like me, or Oblivion? You know, because of the um, the uh, Magic Factory documentary that was being filmed in the run up to. Oblivion's opening day, and it was also filmed on Oblivion's opening day as well, I believe. Or maybe coasters in recent times. So, as I mentioned, the Smiler, Wicker Man, or and we're not even talking all the towns here. Like it can be, it can be any ride from any park. So, potentially the Swarm at Fort Park that opened in 2012, Stealth that opened that Fort Park in 2006. Um, but yeah, just comment below. And I'd love to see a mixture of different opinions, you know. So, yeah. I've decided to go for Nemesis. But Oblivion, you know. That's, that, that, for me, would be my second choice. So, anyway, guys. If you did enjoy today's video, then please give it a like. Because it really helps the channel out. If you would like to become part of the Theme Park Fans family, then be sure to hit that subscribe button. And turn on notifications so you don't miss a single video. Don't forget to check out our Facebook page. As always, our Facebook page link is... In the description below so please go check that out so give it a like the next video won't be coming out on friday but instead it'll be coming out on saturday and um, there's a special reason for that so um i'll see you guys on saturday for the next video um and yeah that's about it really so to conclude this video the one ride that i wish i could have been there for its opening day if i had the ability to go back in time would be of course nemesis I'm Will Donnie, thank you for watching Theme Park Fans, and it's time to close the video down. <laughs> Don't ask me why I did that. Bye guys, thanks for watching.